morning. So this week we're going to maintain our focus on hip mobility and spinal mobility, especially of the upper back. And we're going to use the foam roller. So it does not matter if you don't have a long foam roller like this one. A lot of them that you guys might have are half the size and they might be kind of, they might have more grids than this one, not be quite as smooth. But it doesn't really matter for the purposes of what we're doing. So find your foam roller and put it across your mat or whatever you are using to lie on and you're going to come to lie back onto it. I would like the tips of your shoulder blades against the roller, the knees bent, hip distance apart and the hands are going to interlace behind your head and you're going to have the thumbs under that little ledge in the skull. That's really important. The fingers are interlaced because you want the hands and the arms to support your neck with this movement. You're going to drop your tailbone into your mat and you're going to arc back over the roller. And then you're going to slide your rib cage down and round forwards to look between the knees. Okay, so the breathing, if you can think about it, is an inhale to come back, letting the elbows drop, and then exhale to round forwards. Okay, so the movement comes from the pelvis. You drop your tailbone to arc back and then you imprint your lower back sending the back of the pelvis into the mat to round forwards so a full range of movement through the spine you may or may not get your hands and your head to the mat it doesn't really matter okay it's whatever your spine can do today then come back stay looking between the knees and drop your tailbone you're going to keep all of your lower back still now. So we're going to focus on that thoracic area. So from the bottom of the rib cage all the way to your tailbone, you're keeping that stable as you arc back. It means you won't go as far. Okay, so exhale to come up, keeping that lower back stable, keeping the pelvis heavy. Inhale to come back and exhale to rain forwards. So it's going to be a smaller movement. And it's going to depend how much mobility you have in that thoracic spine as to how much movement you get. So we're going to do three more. This is extension. You breathe in to extend your thoracic spine. You breathe out to return to neutral and a small bit of flexion. Letting the elbows drop and letting the collarbones widen to get that openness in your chest. Last time. All the way back and all the way up stay now looking at the ceiling so that means you have to come back a little bit we're going to side bend from here so you're going to slide your right leg out long you're going to bring your left elbow down towards your left hip and open all of the right side of the rib cage bring the knee back in bring the elbow back and over to the other side so left leg goes long stay looking at your ceiling right elbow comes to your hip and then return. Okay, so the thing here is to keep the head heavy in your hands and keep trying to get that elbow down as close to your hip as possible. This is side bending, lateral flexion of your spine. Hopefully it gives you a nice stretch into your triceps. Come back with, none of, with all of these exercises it's important not to stretch, or excuse me, not to rush them. Okay, so it's about mobility. It's not a workout as such. Okay, from here, you're going to arc back like you did before, keeping the lower back still. Then you're going to drop that left elbow down towards the floor. So you're going to turn to the left. You're going to lift up, come through the center. Look at the knees, come all the way over, right elbow to the floor. Roll across the back of the rib cage, over to the left elbow, and come back up. Okay, so circling around should feel nice. There might be some spots where it's not that comfortable, but go with it. That's kind of what we're looking for as well. So the movement is important, but so is what's happening between you and the roller in terms of myofascial release. Come up and then reverse. So left elbow, roll across, right elbow, curl up come around and back. Okay, so next week 
we're going to use the roller for myofascial release. Today, it's just about mobility. There's lots of different things you can do with the roller. One more time. Left, coming across, right, and come up to pause. Bring your hands, reach them back behind your thighs, pull yourself up to sit up. Take the rope, place it under your knees, sit up tall, arms go out in front and you're going to roll all the way back down. Bring the arms back behind your head, upper back should feel nice and released and then bring your arms down by your side. Okay, so feet come on to the roller, I like the arches of the feet on the roller, wrap your toes over the roller like a bird on a perch. Put space for your fist between your knees, pelvis is heavy, you're going to tilt the lower back into the mat and then peel up through the spine, reaching your knees out towards the end of your mat, out past your toes and then slowly roll back down one vertebra at a time and again imprint, peel up there should be more movement now in the spine because of what we just did on the roller than if we just done this one straight from the start. Return. Let's do three more. What's nice about having the feet on the roller for this is you get to lift up higher so you get more space to articulate through the spine. One vertebra at a time. Return, release, last two. Figure out where you find it difficult to articulate the spine and slow down through the, that part of the movement. One more time. All the way up. There's opening through the front of the hips. Glutes are working. And then all the way back down. Okay, move the feet out to the very, actually don't, because you've got my little short rollers. Okay, keep the feet where they are. You're going to exhale now and straighten out the legs, keeping that lower back still, and then bend the knees to come back in. Okay, so breathing out, straighten, and breathing in to come back in. Okay, so just a little bit of stability work for the lower back. Nothing else moves. One more time. All the way out. Back in. Place the feet down on the other side of the roller. Press into the feet. Lift the pelvis up and bring the roller under the pelvis. So it's really important here that the roller is not sitting on your lumbar vertebra. It's not on your lower back. It is under the pelvis. Okay, tailbone is off the roller. Hands can hold on at either end. Float your right leg to tabletop and bring the left leg to joint. The lower back shouldn't move at all. You're going to glue the legs together and then we're just going to roll side to side to start with. So over, rolling across the pelvis. This is a small bit of myofascial work. The knees stay glued together, the feet stay glued together and the shoulder blades stay on your mat. Okay, so you go as far over as you like, provided the shoulder blades don't lift. Okay, and feel every bit of the movement. Okay, so again, this is a nice release work for the hips. Okay, let's get back to mobility. So, pause when the pelvis is level. Separate the feet hip distance apart. Straighten both legs up to the ceiling. From here, you're going to start scissoring the legs. So one leg comes towards you, the other leg reaches away from you and then you're going to switch. And you're trying to do these without moving your lower back. Okay, so big stretch. If you can, let go of the roller and each time the leg comes in towards you, you can hold on to the back of it wherever you can comfortably reach and pull it in towards you. Last two. Last one. Stay here. Bring the hands back to the ends of the roller. Bring the legs out to either side. I haven't left myself enough space, but really wide legs. And then continue that movement back to that 
starting position. Okay, out again. Both legs go out wide. You circle them around, keeping them heavy, and come back. Okay, so the movement all takes part in that hip socket. And as the legs go out to the side, try to drop them down towards the roller. And you get that nice stretch in the adductors into your inner thigh muscles. One more side. All the way around and back. And then bring the legs back up to the ceiling. Glue them together. Bring the knees down towards your chest. Dead straight legs, you're trying to get your knees down as close to as possible. And then glue the legs together and reach out through the toes as they straighten. So press down into the roller, come over, and then reach through the toes as they lengthen away. So there should be a stretch in the hamstrings at this point. Stretch into the lower back. Scoop the abdominals round forwards and then pause when the feet come up to the ceiling. Bend your right knee, wrap your hands around the shin, lower that left leg, keeping it dead straight. So pause here, make that left leg as straight as you possibly can, as heavy as possibly can. And then you're going to do a little sweeping action from side to side, keeping the leg heavy, encouraging the foot down towards the floor. Keep squeezing that right leg into your chest. A couple more times. And then fold left knee in, switch the hands over, lengthen the right leg up, bring it down, and side to side. Should be a Decent stretch in the front of that right hip. And then slowly bend that right knee. Bring the foot onto the floor. Bring the left leg down beside it. Lift your pelvis off the roller and move the roller out of the way. Exhale and roll down through the spine. One leg to tabletop. Other one joins it. Come all the way up to sit up. Okay, so I'm just checking time. All right, so we've got a few more minutes. We're going to do some rotation of the upper back. So this is called thread the needle. The rudder is going to go alongside your mat. Let's start with it on the left side. Come onto all fours. Take your right hand and bring the back of the hand onto the rudder. You're going to start turning your chest towards the rudder, bending that supporting arm. Imagine someone's pulling that bottom hand away from you. And then slowly come back from there. Press down into that left hand and bring the right arm up to the ceiling. Again, begin turning the rib cage. Bring the arm under. Twist. Get the ribs as far as they'll go. Turn the chest. And then return from there, keeping the pelvis where it is. So the pelvis stays level and the rib cage turns. One more time, come down, twist, bring that right shoulder blade as close to your mat as you can get it, come back from there, and up, and then you're going to do three to the other side, so take the left hand, back of the hand onto the roller, bending that right supporting elbow to bring you down, come back, press into that right hand, Turn and look at that left hand. And again. So turn. And come back. Really good exercise, mobility work for anyone coming getting back into the pool. And then return up to the ceiling. Stack the shoulders up on top of one another. And sit back, take the roller, lengthen it, or put it across the mat in front of you. And you're going to put the calves on the roller, okay? So 
Coming back to an exercise we've been doing the last few weeks, but just slightly different with the roller. The belly of the calf is on the roller. The fingers are facing forwards. And then it's that important lift up the chest to the ceiling to widen your collarbone. Lift up from here, keeping the chest wide. Open across the collarbones. And then you're going to pull the pelvis in behind you. And then lift again through the chest, first down through the legs, and lift up. So there is a little bit of sneaky calf release going on here. Not a huge amount. Okay, it's more about opening the front of the hips and the front of the torso. But if you keep the legs heavy on the roller, you should also feel that bit of calf release. So pull back, come up, lift. And last time, rounding your lower back, looking down between your thighs, come back up, pause, lift out of those shoulders a little bit higher, and then lower yourself all the way down. Leave the roller where it is, and yourself around, so that you can lie on your front with the arms on the roller. So what I would like is the legs outstretched behind, hip distance apart, Arms out straight, wrists on the roller, backs of the hands facing one another. So your head goes down, heavy pelvis. When you breathe in, draw the shoulder blades down your back. Begin lifting the forehead and the chest. And then when you breathe out, roll back down through the spine, back to where you started. Okay, so what the arms are gonna do is you start with the backs of the hands facing one another as you peel up through the spine, the palms turn to face one another. And then you come all the way back down and spiral the arms back to where they started. Okay, if you want to think about the breathing, it's an inhale to float you up, opening the front of the chest. Exhale to come back down. Just three more. Breathing in. Widening your collarbone, pressing your chest forwards, breathing out to return. Last two. See how much of the front of the body you can peel up. And last one. And then you're going to take your hands off your roller. Press into them so you can sit back, separate your knees and bring your head down if possible. Arms out long in front. Walk the hands out towards the end of the mat and take some really wide, deep breaths into the back of the rib cage. And you are done for today.